So, got back to Vanny, pretty excited, but uh, a little bit devastated. Fair bit of mold floating around, which is pretty understandable in the tropics, but uh, I suppose when you do rotation on the boats and then come back to a place like this, you gotta have someone check in and we're looking at that, um, just to sort of air it out and yeah, get that airflow UV light. Cause I tell you what, she's an ongoing battle, but very excited, episode two for Vanuatu. So all our furniture's come in, absolutely stoked. So I've got uh, two beds, couches, all our dining table set up. So as you've probably seen before, it's been a bit of a construction site. Now we can actually live in it and call it a home. So that's pretty cool, set all that up. Suffered a bit of mold while we're away. That's onto the capithane. This stuff's the real deal. So there we go. Sign up. Oh, how good does that look? Cat and Louise plays. Bit of bizlama. Minimal, minimal amounts, but uh, and straight through there. There's home. Thank you, Tomas. Gonna jump up in the attic because as we know I don't do that um, we're gonna check for leaks because like I said those cyclones pump through 230k winds so this joint had no power for for ages down down where we live so she's gonna get up there have a squiz um, we're just checking everything checking all, all the plumbing um, electrical all that great stuff kind of treat this place as a shack you know when you're a little kid if you ever had a shack you sort of rock up everything turns turns off when you leave when you rock up you undo everything, clean it all up, and uh, it's livable. Morning cuppa spot. Knock, knocked a few of these away. Chucking a pool down here, we reckon. Look at that view. Later this year, pool there. The cat was hard on the capithania yesterday. So we've had a fair bit of damage back in, when was it? March. So the old uh, line to site to line or some shit for the uh, internet, that all come down, busted all our gutters. So yeah, a bit of, bit of construction time here. We've got the builders coming around, hopefully redo our gutters, get a lot of water away. All this gear is getting dug out, all the back here. So all through here, we're gonna have this angled like that. So the water doesn't bugger off into our house. The other big ticket item is getting that big, big tree down that we got out the sort of back of our property that was overhanging our house and causing a bit of a ruckus. Poor old tree's gone, but you know, tough love, mate. We needed that one gone. So that should, nothing should fall on our house and termites should be gone, well, for now. But no, she's come a long way, the house, I tell you. Even the car got to clean up the old Isuzu D Max. Look at it, bling. Beautiful. Oh, also, I brought a drone this time. One of those little minis. So I'm going to get the drone up and have a little squiz around our property because it's the first time I've actually done that. So we'll cut to some juicy B roll. So we still haven't used our fire pit. Now this is one thing we're gonna do. We got Kat's birthday coming up um, July 1st. Don't know why I had to think that hard then. Uh, so we got that, that coming up. We'll get the fire pit cranked up and uh, we've got Spike and Kirst over living down the road here. Finally caught up with them on a rotation off the boats. 
so I might do some uh, marshmallows and good stuff like that and actually enjoy the, the spot instead of just grafting away. But now we love them being back in Vanuatu, always a challenge. And uh, yeah, look forward to you showing you what we've done on the setup here. All right, back to it. There we go, we've dug the big trenches, it's going to be a big soak well coming down here to keep the water, this will all be limestone, sorry, coral I should say down here, all coral around the house, so it's a big soak way to keep water away from all in here, so a big job but the machine is very capable, makes light work. All this, all this has to be leveled. So we have a bit of a slope and then straight into coral. But this needs to kick up just at the end here, just to stop the water piling in. But yeah, gutters next, roofing, and we should be effectively getting water away from the house. name of the game is this big ass border around the house around the property a bit of a soak well because you know it's Vanuatu and it's tropical shit and the rain pisses down here so trying to get water right away from the property we'll be laying some black wrap in here all around the property so sort of like pushes the water away from the house so that's the idea I have no idea if it's gonna work <clears throat> we've got about 20 cubes of uh, coral here So well, the big diggers trying to get that bloody tree out that's God knows how old. Um, they think there's a big tap root going down the center. So its roots are going all the way around, but there's one big ass one down the middle. So it might have to poison it. That's it, goodbye. <laughs> Get on your head. look at that. You can operate this bloke. Getting somewhere. He's all leveled out, tree's gone. Eric sorting that out. We got the wrap down. We're gonna put coral, chair fabric, more coral. Should be a nice border all around here. Get that water right away from our house. You beauty. The 
digger ain't cheap. She's uh, a bit of money for the day. So we're trying to effectively manage that and get as much as we can done. But trenches are dug all around the property. Um, we're at 900 at the front of the property, where the water's going to be bigger, and then a big soak well. And I reckon a nice coral border should look to the man here. Because, I don't know, we just had grass, mould, all the wood comes right up to the footings of the house. So we're trying to clear it away, get water away. That's the name of the game here. Anyway, enough of this chit chat. I'm going to start chucking some tarp down and uh, seeing if this is going to be a, a process which, you know, I'm on the job, so it will be. All right, catch it. Do you know what you're doing here? Because I've got no idea. It's a drainage tube. All the water goes through the coral. Right. But any sediment or small rocks, this stops it. So it just ends up being water flowing through this. You still get the filtration from all the coral and the rocks. But that creates it. When it's a heavy flow, the water can go straight in there and shoot straight down. How do you know this stuff? So this stuff, what Kat's saying, we're going to wrap it, wrap this stuff in, that tube goes through the guts of it, and it should work well. Oh, look at this. Ooh. She's starting to look pretty level. She's starting to look pretty level. Finally got the fire pit going. It's been a while. So, absolutely smashed it this week. Um, the digger's been here, dominated so much, just moving so much earth around. Probably getting burnt here. Cheers, big ears. Finally christened it. Finally christened it. Another day. Just look at these bloody, look at these poor old coconut trees. No, eh? Bakura beetle. I know I call them Bakura beetle, they're actually the uh, just coconut beetle. Invasive species, reckon all these coconuts you can see them, just sticks up there. These ones are slowly hanging in, but it won't take long. It'll be like us where we have to chop them all down. Bloody sad. Alright, I'm loitering around my roof, better get back to this and uh, get sealing these little holes in the wall. So we've got this puppy painted, not finished yet, just got one coat on. Nice change from uh, the old crusty red, whatever colour it was. Should be cooler, should be cooler in this bloody hot ass place that's called Vanuatu. So, just going to fill these up, just a little bit of a temp job. Bit of cheap and nasty, but gets the job done. Look out. So yeah, the idea is get this house painted top to bottom, greys and whites, pretty neutral colours. We like a bit of a minimalistic setup, nice and clean. Cut a time lapse if it's still on it anyway. Should speed her up. So yeah, we're pretty stoked getting that excavator, getting all that squared away, that was a big job. And hopefully this grass here behind me starts growing when we're away, which things do grow super quick here. 
So we've got all that limestone. I keep calling it bloody limestone, coral, coral bits here. It's all the corals down below. Carlo and the boys have done a great job squaring that away. Oh, coming to the end of another stint in Vanuatu. And I guess we'll see you guys for episode three if I can pull my finger out and get, get more of these done. Catch ya.